Between the excitement is everything I mentioned. This is Mitch Reviews Everything, and today I am reviewing Scorpion Thunderbolt. Oh yes, I'll say it again, Scorpion Thunderbolt. This is a movie from sometime in the 80s out of Hong Kong cinema. You know how I love it. And this movie is actually at least two movies, possibly three movies, combined into one mess where they where they tried to basically cash in on pre-existing footage. Um, Godfrey, excuse me, Godfrey Ho was the director of this little adventure. And he basically went and got a movie called Grudge of the Sleepwalking Woman, another movie called Majestic Thunderbolt, and I believe either original or footage from a third movie and combined it into one mess of a movie. I mean... But here's the thing. That's why I watch these kind of movies. I mean, look at it. This movie's called Scorpion Thunderbolt. I mean, come on. That's awesome. I mean, you watch these movies because you know that they're going to be bad. It's like, I, I could say this was a suffer fest, but it really wasn't. I was actually highly entertained by it. And basically, here's what's happening. There's a woman. She is existing in modern-day Hong Kong. And she miraculously turns into a snake woman when a blind man playing a flute turns her into that. Well, here's what basically happened. Uh, I'm just going to say spoiler alert. I don't know if it really is or not. I don't think it is. But her dad and her family were, this is like probably like 100 years ago I think it's supposed to be, they were snake killers and one day, the Prince of Snakes comes upon them, gunning the snakes, and he decides to, I think he was attempting to curse the family by marrying the daughter, and they have a baby. Well, the baby they had is the daughter existing in modern-day Hong Kong, and she is a journalist. And this movie, basic plot is this. She's out killing people, and there's a detective, his name is Jackie, and he is attempting to catch the person that's killing the uh, people. And, of course, the snake woman falls in love with Jackie. So there's this weird love story involved where he's trying to solve the case. But the girl he's in love with is the one killing him. And, you know, she's a half monster. So that's happening. And while that's happening, we also find out this. The other movie that this is matched with, I, be I believe... Like I said, there's another movie uh, called Majestic Thunderbolt. So there's that footage as well. And there's this other plot going on that they kind of put with this where there's this vampire witch. Yes, a vampire witch. And she, I believe, is controlling the blind man they kind of make it out. So basically what's happening is there's this other completely separate plot happening where there's this vampire witch controlling the her, her to chain transform that's how they like kind of explain it away and there's this other guy named Richard who he is out trying to kill this vampire witch um and she's also the vampire witch is also sending henchmen after Richard because Richard has a ring on his finger that can kill her so Richard is fighting henchmen while trying to go after this vampire witch who's also, she's called the Scorpion King. So that's where you get the title, part of the title at least, Scorpion Thunderbolt, is the fact that uh, the queen is, uh, the Scorpion Queen, I guess, this witch vampire being. So Richard's going after, you know, the Scorpion Queen. And um, they kind of mix the, the, the plots and try to make it one by... Ba and like I said, Richard, of course, this is two movies combined into one. Richard, you never see any of them on camera or anything together. It's just a big jumbled mess where they're trying to basically say that the Scorpion Queen or whatever the heck her name is, is the one basically transforming her into the snake woman she's out killing people. That's basically this movie. This movie has plenty of, like, um, you know, all over the top, uh, uh, just ridiculous killings and murders while she is the snake. There's a lot of, like, crazy scenes in this movie. And like I said, 
This movie comes from two movies, Grudge of the Sleepwalking Woman, also known as Snake, simply Snake Woman, and uh, Majestic Thunderbolt. So, you know, I don't know where, which footage is which sometimes in this movie, and I think there's original footage, like I said, and there's a bunch of kung fu scenes that I believe some of them were brand new. So there is a little bit of kung fu. There's actually some pretty entertaining, it's not the best, but there's actually pretty entertaining kung fu scenes. A lot of like ridiculous like bloodshed and stuff. And honestly, the Snake Coleman's costume is very, very, very um, Super Sentai, Power Rangers, uh, you know, Kamen Rider monster um, looking. Uh, and in fact, it looks exactly like one of the, mo the uh, Rita's monsters from Power Rangers Mighty Morphin. So, uh, if, if I find a picture, I'll put it in this video. But uh, anyways, this is one of those just crazy ass movies. It's available on Amazon Prime. Scorpion Thunderbolt. Please, if you're looking for a fun movie that just to laugh at because of how, like, ins the insanity of them trying to combine several productions into one, please, by all means, watch Scorpion Thunderbolt. It is just another one of those films, man. Uh, I'm not disappointed I watched it. I'll probably never watch it again. It's just a big jumble of, like, kind of, like, it's just funny to watch, really. It truly is entertaining, even though the acting's bad, the production's bad, everything's bad. But, you know what, hey, you know what? Scorpion Thunderbolt is entertaining. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. This has been Mitch Reviews Everything.